I'm a big proponent of the uh, simultaneous augmentation mastopexy approach. There is a very slightly increased uh, incidence of complications when you're doing it as a combined approach, but it is very slight and in someone who's experienced doing this uh, is a very safe and predictable procedure. I think having one operation that achieves both an increase in volume as well as, well as a lifting uh, of the breasts is very beneficial to the patient rather than always resorting to two separate surgeries with two recovery periods and a lot of other uh, difficulties that come along with it such as time off work etc. So having said that, um, one complication that you might see from a reduction, a mastopexy, or an augmentation mastopexy anytime uh, you are doing a lifting procedure of the breast is an opening in the skin or a wound, usually below the nipple areolar complex at the point where that incision meets the vertical incision. Um, this place has a maximal tension and it can have a little bit of skin separation and opening that usually fills in with some scab and is not an issue. Uh, we typically will uh, put some polysporin or antibiotic ointment on this spot until it heals in well and um, there are no problems. If there is leaking from that site, it must be carefully inspected to make sure it's not in communication with the breast pocket if you have an implant in there. And what's key is that you avoid infection of the uh, breast implant. Uh, an exposed implant is a serious problem because it is highly likely to become infected and probably need to be removed. So depending on whether or not there is an implant in there, how big the hole is, how much fluid is leaking out, um, all goes into consideration uh, on how to treat this uh, wound. Um, but it is something that I'm asked about frequently, both by my patients and also uh, through uh, RealSelf and other websites such as that.